Hi, welcome back to another episode of Bake and Make. I'm Angela Kapeski. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cake. First we're going to start off with the figurines and we're going to take some green fondant and place some CMC or Tylos. So we're going to roll it out and shape it into a round ball. And we're just going to take a tool, we can use a knife and we'll make an indent there for the mouth and two small dots on the side. Now I'm going to start off with the orange and we're going to roll this out and this is going to be for the bandana part. So just roll it out and taking a pizza cutter or a knife we're just going to slice that down into a thin strip. Take a ball tool and we're going to make two indents there where the eyes are going to be. Take some sugar glue or water and we're just going to spread that around the front part and the sides and the back part as well. Take our strip and we're just going to place it around, push it down and then overlap it on the side there. Take two white fondant balls with some sugar glue and we're just going to place those on there for the eyes. Take some black fondant and roll out two smaller balls and place them in the centre there. Okay, you can see here I've made all four, so you just roll out, you do the same, you do a purple, orange, red and a blue and leave them to dry. Okay, this is going to be the lid for the top part, so just um, sprinkle down some icing sugar or corn flour and roll out some grey fondant. Okay, I'm using a 6 inch board here, so just turn it around and place some sugar glue on the top there so we can have make that fondant to stick. So we'll just take our grey fondant, we'll place it over the top and smooth it out. Taking a smoother, just smooth it out and run your fingers along the side there. Take a blade and we're going to cut around that circle there, all the way around. Take a smoother and smooth the edges off. Roll out a long piece of grey fondant and then just push that down. I'm using a ruler here. And then just place that around all the way to the back and cut that excess off there. Take a tool or a knife and we'll just make little indents in there. Place down some sugar glue and roll some balls out and place them down evenly. Take a knife and we're going to make those little indents there for the screws. Okay, this is going to be the bottom tier so I've got four layers and you'll need to bake, bake two cakes so one eight inch for the bottom and one six inch for the top. So just take a board, I'm going to use white chocolate ganache, you can use buttercream and we'll just spread that all over the board so we can stick our cake there. Take one layer and then we'll just place it on the board. Fill each layer and smooth out the sides. I'm going to use chocolate ganache here and we'll just spread it we'll just spread it all over the side just like that. Make your way up to the top and spread that around evenly. Place some ganache on the top and spread that out to the end. Taking a scraper, we're going to just scrape all the way around so we can get an even surface. Move that excess there scrape it around again. Okay you can see here we've got the edges up the top so just take your scraper 
and then pull back. Remove the excess and we'll do that all the way around. Okay, you can see here we've got the nice even finish and so we'll just finish it off on a nice smooth surface. Take some icing sugar or corn flour and we're going to roll out the blue fondant for the bottom tier. So we'll just roll that out. Take a smoother and we'll just smooth that fondant out there. Take our cake and we'll cover it on the top and secure the edges so we don't have any tears there. Okay, take a pizza cutter or a knife and we're going to take um, chop off that excess there. Using a smoother we'll just smooth out the fondant there all the way around and on the top. Now this is going to be for the top tier so take some grey fondant and roll it out. Take a smoother and smooth it out. Cover the cake and again we're going to secure the edges over the side there so it doesn't crack. Take a smoother and smooth it out. Now we're going to cover our board. I've used a 12 inch round board and just place some sugar glue over the board and we'll just smooth out that fondant there. Take a blade and we're going to just cut that excess off. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to use some royal icing to stick the cakes each layer onto the onto the board there. So just smooth out some royal icing. We'll take a knife to lift up the cake. Just using your hand and place it on the board and position it in the centre there. I've used some dowels or skewers to hold that second tier up so just insert them into that um, bottom tier. We'll take some more royal icing and we'll place it in the centre there. So just smooth that out. Take a knife and we'll lift up that tier and we'll place it on the top there. Just position it in the center. Roll out some black fondant. This is going to be for the buildings on the side. So use one square cutter, one triangle cutter, and we'll cut out two rectangular shapes there for the sides. Take some sugar glue or water. And we'll just place some there on the cake. And we'll stick our pieces there to form a building. for the sides as well. And one for the other side. And some for the top part as well. So do this all the way around. You can do them different sizes, different shapes. So just using that rectangular cutter and you can cut them down as you wish. Place some sugar glue and stick them on. Place that top part and do this all the way around. Roll out some yellow fondant and just using a small rectangular cutter just cut out some pieces and these are going to be for the windows. So just cut them out into little squares and stick them on on each piece. And you have to do this all the way around. Okay, I'm using a number six here. You can use any number or if you if you don't want to use it, that's fine. So just take some sugar glue place some sugar glue on the back and we'll stick it on that front building there. 
roll out some white balls and then just place some sugar glue on there and just do this around the cake. Roll out some red fondant. I've coloured this with black, um, black and red combined. And just using a ribbon cutter or you can use a pizza cutter, roll them down, um, cut, sorry, cut them down into long strips. And these are going to be for the bricks on the top tier. So we'll just cut them down. And starting from the front, we'll take some sugar glue, place that on the cake. And we'll just glue them down like that. Space them out until you get an even coverage all the way to the top. Okay, now we're going to stick our little figurines on the top. So I'm going to use some royal icing and we'll start from the center and we'll just place it down there. Place just a little bit underneath, not too much because it will leak out. We'll do them one next to each other. And that's the last one there. Leave this to dry. Okay, now we're going to do the little hands. So just roll out some green fondant, stick it next to there and push that down. Using a knife, just make three small little indents there for the fingers. Okay, now we're going to stick that top lid on. So just place some royal icing on the on the side there. And place some right at the back. And we'll take a little bit of fondant and we'll roll it into a ball. And we'll stick that at the back as well. And place just a little bit of royal icing on the top. We'll grab our lid. And we'll just position it on the top. And we'll hold that down and leave it to dry. Okay. Now I've put a um, edible image here and I've just placed some stars there so you can decorate it however you wish and I've placed a ribbon around that board there so there you go as you can see how this was quite easy to make and thanks for watching the video and if you like this video please feel free to subscribe to my channel and I look forward to showing you another video soon thanks for watching